So I have a problem. And no, it's not my continuing to shoot film in 2024. When I started shooting film back at the ripe old age of 17 years old, I didn't give organization a second thought. As a result, I want to change how I go about shooting film in 2024 to make this year as smooth as possible and to have another great year on YouTube. I posted my first video on January 7th of last year, and I'm beyond happy that I was finally able to cross that New Year's resolution off my bucket list. Thank you to everyone who watched my channel in 2023, but it's a new year, right? So here are my film photography resolutions for 2024. Cut, scan, and edit all backlogged film rolls. This. This is where a lot of my downfall starts. I shoot a roll and decide to scan it in myself. Tonight. Okay, well, maybe tomorrow morning. Well, there's gonna be a lot of light leakage if I do it in the morning. So maybe the following night? What if I just knock it all out one Friday night? Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Two months later. Yeah, tomorrow I'll get around to it. So my number one goal for this year is to cut down on my backlog of film rolls. I have several rolls in this backlog that have yet to even be scanned, and numerous rolls that just need to be cut and cataloged. If you have a collection like this building up, trust me and start to manage it now before it becomes too big. Organize all negatives by year in a binder. Once all of these rolls make it into a print file sleeve, I want to catalog them by year. Right now I'm using some cheap binder that I picked up from Walmart a few years back, but I'm planning on upgrading to a sort system that will eliminate dust. I'll most likely combine the first two years of my film photography journey, 2017 to 2019 into one folder, along with 2020 to 2021. But for the case of 22 and 23, I'm probably going to put them in their own respective binders. So I shot more film in those years than I ever have before especially last year, and my cheapy binders just aren't cutting it. Catalog my roles into Notion. I got the idea from King Japes' recent interview with Polly B, where he went over how he catalogs his negatives, and it inspired me to start a database with my own. I'm halfway through 2023 right now, and I'm gonna work backwards once I'm done. The database tells me a lot of different information, like when the film was shot, how it was taken, where, what lab developed it, that film was in a YouTube video, the status of the role, so on and so forth. I'll most likely also add what hard drive that role is on as my database continues to grow and I shoot more film. Making my first photo book. I've been thinking about making a photo book for the past few years now, and I feel that I finally have a body of cohesive work that could form the basis of my first book. In 2022, I photographed my first rodeo on one roll of Sinistel 800T and my Mamiya M645, along with some digital images on my Sony Cybershot. When it came time for last year's rodeo, I knew that I wanted to go all out. I shot about 8 rolls of film and 2 packs of Polaroid 600 film, but I've yet to scan all this film in and prepare the images. I hope to finish this this year, so stay tuned. On top of the book, I also filmed a video showing the making of the images from 2023, similar to my video from last year at the Red River Valley Fair. I hope to release that video either in preparation for the book's release, or on the day that it's available. I think it'll be really cool to see the making of the images, because you're also going to be able to see images that won't make it into the sequencing of the book. Now the rest of the ideas on this list are not as intense as the first few, but just some ideas and things that I want to explore within the new year. New film stocks. So while I have been shooting film for a while now, I haven't shot every single film stock out there. This year I'd like to spend the time to try and cross off some of the film stocks that I haven't tried on my bucket list, especially slide film. I did actually shoot one roll of Ektachrome last year that hasn't been developed, but it was just for fun. Some other films I would like to try this year includes Lomo 800 and 120, Fuji Pro 400H, so I have actually shot Pro 400H before, but I'd love to shoot it again and give it a proper review here on the channel. Lomo Red Scale is on my list, as well as Ilford XP2, and I think I want to try Harman's Phoenix film. Develop film more consistently this year. I started developing black and white last summer and loved it. And the same day that I shot a roll, I could see the results later that night. And it was a really fun process all around. I've decided to go with Ilford's DDX for my next developer to try, and I'm excited to get back into developing and try my hand at it once again. EDC a film camera. This next resolution actually pairs really well with developing my own film again, and this year I want to EDC a film camera, namely my Canon new F1. You never know when a photo will present itself, and the best way to miss the moment is to not carry your camera with you in the first place. Shoot more portraits. While I shot more portraits in 2023 than I ever have, I definitely want to continue to do so in 24. More specifically, I'd love to experiment more with conceptual shoots. I have a few ideas I'm working on already, but I'm excited to shoot for upcoming videos. And last but not least, experimentation. I definitely want to continue this year to experiment with what I'm producing. I'd love to try exposure latitude tests, be it on regular film socks or even Polaroids. 
I love to do videos on like reciprocity and just kind of learning anything that I don't really know about the film photography world and bring you guys along with it. Overall, just trying to get out of my comfort zone. And I think with a lot of the things that I plan to do this year, I think that's gonna come pretty naturally. So that's gonna wrap us up here today. Thank you guys for watching. And if you have any film photography resolutions that you're planning to do in the new year, let me know. Thank you to everyone who watched again in 2023. And I'm really excited for what this year has to hold. I have a lot of new ideas and series that I wanna try out this year. And I hope to make work that I'm proud of. So if you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe. You know, you know, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.